Hi everyone. Welcome to Voice of Our Own. I'm Allison Kinnear. It is Wednesday night at nine o'clock, which means it is late night snack. And I am telling you, <laughs> I literally 20 minutes ago just got home from an elementary school, my daughter's elementary school carnival. So both children are still wide awake. I went to the carnival by myself. My husband is not home. Fingers crossed that the children stay in bed while I talk to y'all. <laughs> if I had time to pour myself a glass of wine, there would be one in my hand right now, but no time for that. Anyway, tonight we are talking about vulnerability hangovers. Last week I shared some uh, what ended up being a smaller portion of my emotional week that I had and kind of how I how I uh, kind of managed my way through it and and found my way through just having some big emotions come up and I thought you know what what's been really lovely is that so many people have been reaching out sending me text messages hey just wanted to check in you know calling me just being like I saw that it was an emotional week and I just wanted to check in see how you're doing which has been really lovely and it's given me a wonderful opportunity to deal with vulnerability hangovers. <laughs> uh, many of you probably are familiar with, if not the term, the sensation of when you maybe reach out, of when you uh, share with people and you feel that, that vulnerable edge where you just maybe open your heart a little bit more than what is comfortable and you received um you see you received connection from that maybe receiving empathy from that if everything went well and even if like sharing was a really healing thing and everything kind of went well nobody was attacking or anything like that it's still really common to be feeling a bit hung over about it you know like I don't know what happened. I don't know why I shared. I don't know what I did last night. I don't know what I shared. Why did I do that? Oh my gosh. What are people going to think? Why did I, you know, why did I open myself up like that? Even if things go well, we can still kind of sit with some of those feelings. And I think, um, I think part of it is, especially when it goes well, that, that, um, that vulnerability hangover to me shows up as a struggle around receiving. And this was something that I actually saw from many women over the course of this week, um, friends and clients, and just in general, we have a hard time receiving, um, receiving empathy, receiving connection, receiving um, love and care. It's a struggle that we all have. And when we open ourselves up, when we open up our hearts, and somebody connects with us and and meets us where we're at it can be a challenging thing to be held in that way and to receive that support because we like to do things we like to be independent we like to do things on our own we like to do things ourselves and that's wonderful that's a wonderful um it's a wonderful thing to to be independent and step into our strength and strength can show up by receiving, by receiving support, by receiving help. And uh, I just uh, wanted to, uh, and I, I think I've shared this before, but I'll, I'll share it again. Whenever I'm in that position of receiving and like, so this week I received a lot of emails or a lot of text messages and phone calls, which is really lovely. And that care and concern was coming toward me. My vulnerability hangover was starting to show up. And instead, I just went right to my mantra of receive, 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 receive. Um, it's something that helps me kind of move through that. And the other thing, too, that happens when we step up in that way is that there's an expansion that's happening, right? There's this opening up, this stepping into a, a, our more authentic self. And the part of us that wants us to stay small and to stay hidden and to stay safe really shows up. And, and that's part of that hangover as well. Um, the part of us that is like, 
don't be seen, don't stand out, you know, just, just stay really small. And that can help us when we are children, you know, like when we're all navigating our family life as kids, we can learn that lesson of staying small. But as you know, it doesn't really serve us as we become adults. When we grow up, our jobs, our families, our life demands that we step more boldly into ourselves. So that vulnerability hangover, I've come to see it as less of a sign of, oh my gosh, what did I just do? And more of a sign of how can I receive support and how can I comfort myself in knowing it's okay. It's okay to take up a little more space. It's okay to be a little more bold, to, to step into myself more fully. So I leave you with that. Oh, let me see who's online. I see. Hi, Sandy. Hello. I don't know who else is watching. Let's see. Oh, Deb Arnold. Hey, I saw you at the carnival tonight. Ah. Lynn. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Ray Ann. I saw. I didn't see you, Ray Ann, but I saw your husband at the carnival. Sandy. So good to see you. Um, <laughs> I will tell you the bounce house is. What? I am like, I'm still like coping with two children moving in two different directions in a crowd of children in Bounce House Central. Oh my gosh. I will be having a glass of wine after this tonight. I'm just saying. Don't judge. I'm just saying. Um, anyway, I, oh, what did I want to share with you? I have two workshops coming if you're local. Uh, one's coming to the Maple Valley Library and the other one is uh, happening at the Isquah Library. So Isquah Library is on the 30th, June 30th in the morning at 10.30 a.m. And the Maple Valley Library workshop is happening Thursday, June 28th at like 7 o'clock p.m. Um, both are free workshops. It is called Self-Care for Busy Moms. It is my most popular workshop. Even if you're not a mom, it doesn't matter if you are a busy woman and you need some quick self-care things that you can do throughout your day, come to the workshop. I'm telling you, it's awesome. The other thing is my website is getting worked on. Woohoo! And I just, oh gosh, this week has been huge. I just sent out my first newsletter. If you are interested in being on my newsletter list, I'm going to be sending them out um, probably twice a month. Uh, so I, I don't spam people, but I'll be letting people know about like things that are happening. So if you're interested in that, just message me with your email and I'll put you on my list so you can, you can find out what's, what's going on. Um, the other thing is, uh, all of my Facebook Live videos will be automatically synced to YouTube. So for those of you who have been asking, how do I share these videos with people who are not on Facebook? I've got a solution. Now I'm going to be on YouTube as well. So you can check out my channel. I'll send, send uh, put the link uh, below. The other thing that I'm so excited about is I've had these three-month, six-month, and nine-month uh, workbooks that I offer to clients um, when they come and work with me, and I just revamped the whole thing, and I've got, oh man, I am so excited. I've got like new activities, totally updated, really amazing stuff. Um, my mom actually proofread the first draft for me, and she said, gosh, I wish I had this when I was raising you guys, because there's a whole section on self-care. There's another section on um, boundaries, and there's another section on parenting. And it's just good stuff. It's workbooks. It's designed for once a week. And I'm so excited. I'll show you. I've It's at the printers right now, so I'll show you the hardbound copy once it's done. Anyway, that's what I have for you tonight. Oh, hi, Anna. Oh, my gosh. So good seeing everyone. I wish you a full night of sleep, to sleep tonight and always. I know I will be sleeping well tonight after the day I had. Um, I hope you do too. Wishing you a great evening and a great week. I'll see you later.